Hey guys, I'm Sinead Grimes Beach and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video about postpartum hair loss tips and tricks because the struggle is real. Four months postpartum, I started losing my hair in chunks. Certain areas, like in my temple area, I've always struggled with a little bit. Just my luck, postpartum hair loss decided to thin those areas out even more. I didn't want to take any supplements or anything like that because I was breastfeeding at the time. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that to you. What I would recommend is just staying on top of three key things when it comes to your actual hair care. Exfoliate, hydrate, stimulate. Those are the three things you really want to focus on when it comes to encouraging regrowth. You can't stop the hair loss from happening and really it's not hair loss per se, it's just that you didn't shed the normal amount of hair that you typically shed while you were pregnant. When that postpartum hair loss moment hits, it's just shedding all of those months and months and months of dead hair ultimately that was just still sitting on your head and should have been shed over that duration of time. Does that make any sense? The best way that I have found to exfoliate my scalp is actually just using a totally DIY scrub made up of household items that I found in my kitchen and pantry. I'll include the recipe for this DIY scrub down below, but it's items that you probably already have or will only cost you a couple bucks at the grocery store. We get so much buildup on our scalp from natural oils, products that we use in our hair all the time, and just things in the atmosphere and environment. We want an open path for all of that regrowth to start happening. Use this scrub once every week to two weeks and really all you do is just scoop it onto your scalp as close to the root as you can. Really get in there all over the place and just rub for one to two minutes. I like to leave it on for an extra one to two minutes and just let all of the ingredients really do their thing and then I just rinse it out in the shower with shampoo and conditioner. Then you want to hydrate not just your hair but you want to hydrate your scalp as well. We really want to nourish that skin so that it is just healthy and in a good place so we get all of that regrowth happening. So to hydrate, my favorite thing to use is actually just straight up coconut oil. This is just from Whole Foods. All I do is I take chunks of this in my hand and I either warm it up between my palms or you can microwave it for a couple seconds if you want to melt it down. And again, I just apply it to my scalp, really massage it in. Massage is an important part of the third step, stimulating. So you can kill two birds with one stone. You can also drag that coconut oil down through the lengths and ends of your hair. You can leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes or if your hair is feeling super damaged you can actually just put a shower cap on and sleep with it on. You don't want to clog those hair follicles like I said in step number one so make sure you cleanse it out real real good. That brings me to my third step. An important part of stimulating like I said is massage but I love to use this product that I find really really helps with stimulating hair regrowth and this is from Aveda. It's their Invadi Advanced scalp revitalizer. All you do to use it is after you've shampooed and conditioned, when you get out of the shower, towel dry, and then just spray a few spritzes as close to the root as you can, and again, massage it in. Now, while you are waiting for your hair to grow back, I also have a couple tips and tricks that are gonna help you out. The first thing I'm gonna show you is an amazing product that I used in one of my more recent hair tutorials for my perfect mom bun, this powder from Color Wow, and it really is just an amazing, super easy to use product that fills in any bald patches you have. So I'm gonna show you really quick how easy this is to do. That only took a couple of seconds and you could see I really wasn't being precious about where I was placing it. I was just getting that product in there. It's not expensive. I'll link to where you can buy it down below and it's really easy to use. It will make a big difference as far as those thin patches that come with postpartum hair loss are concerned. The last tip I wanna share with you guys is something that addresses these little guys. My baby hairs have been the bane of my existence pretty much my whole life, but they have gotten so much harder to handle since this whole postpartum hair loss thing happened because they're growing. They are just getting too long to kind of blend into my hairline and not long enough to blend in with the rest of my hair. All I do to deal with those is steal my husband's hair pomade. <laughs> but if you don't have anybody in your house that you can steal off of, then just make a little bit of a splurge and get your own hair pomade. I just took a teeny tiny little bit out of there and I'm gonna rub it on the back of my hand to kind of soften the product a little bit because again I don't even need that much I really need a very small amount and I'm going to apply it to the baby hairs and then once those baby hairs are pretty much out of the way I just like to tame them even more with this teasing brush this is typically 
a brush that I use to back comb my hair to give it more volume, but it works super well for this purpose as well. And just like that, all of my baby hairs are gone. All right, guys, those are my tips and must-haves and recommendations for how to cope with postpartum hair loss. I really hope this helps because I know how frustrating this postpartum hair loss time can be. I got you, boo. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and leave me a comment below letting me know if you have any postpartum hair loss tips that I did not include in this video because I'm sure everyone watching would appreciate it. I will see you in the next video, guys.